let's add a custom fluid to Minecraft. Forge and fabric courses with advanced topics such as entities, custom structures, and 3D armor models linked in the description below. Alright, we find ourselves in Intelligent once more, and in this tutorial, we're going to be adding a custom fluid to Minecraft. And for that, we're going to make a new package at first, and this is going to be the fluid package. And inside of there, we're going to make two new classes. One of them is going to be the mod fluids class. And the other one is going to be our actual fluid class, and that's going to be the honey fluid. So this is going to be very interesting. The honey fluid, I will actually be copying over the entire class. Now, this is quite a bit longer, but we're going to go through a few things in this class. And this is, of course, all available to you once again in the description below, GitHub repository, and individual gist as well. Now, there's going to be a few key points right here, which we not have yet. So mainly, of course, the, you know, mod fluid stuff, the mod items, the honey bucket, and then also we still need a block here as well. But no worries, we're going to add those in just a moment. So, you know, the main things here should be fairly self-explanatory, right? We have a fluid here, a flowing fluid, a still fluid, a item for the bucket, as well as uh, some, you know, blocks right here, and then also the matching type right here, so that it knows, you know, in what type of fluid it can sort of flow into, generally speaking. You can see some other methods that are being overridden. Dripping water should be fairly self-explanatory. If there is a, you know, a block, honey block, in this case, above a certain block, then below it, you would have dripping water. You can, of course, change those particles as you go. So I'm going to keep a lot of this pretty much the same as this one right here. But, you know, once again, be open to experimentation with your custom fluid. Just change a bunch of stuff around. If it doesn't work, you can always control Z and go back. So I highly recommend doing that as well. So there's a few things here. So you can see there's two static classes, the flowing and the still class. And those are basically, well, for, you know, either the flowing fluid or the still fluid, uh, there's pretty much that there. And you can see that there is a particular level right here. So if I actually middle mouse button click on this level, you can see this is the flowable fluid level. And the level goes from 1 to 8, the idea being... You have a certain level that this can flow to. So in, if we do level 8 right here, then it should be able to travel 8 spaces or 8 blocks, basically, far. So this should, I believe that this is what this does right here. Uh, there's a lot of stuff uh, in here, as you can see, that you can change. Highly recommend, like I said, just play around with a bunch of stuff. And then hopefully you will be able to, well, find the way that you want your custom fluid to behave. But for now, let's go into the mod fluids class and let's go with public static final. And this is going to be a flowable fluid. And there's going to be honey, uh, honey underscore still. And this is equal to a register method, which we've not made. So let's actually make a register method right here. Private static flowable fluid. Oh, and then a register method uh, with a string name parameter. And the second one is a flowable fluid called flowable fluid. And then we're going to return registry dot register oh this is the wrong registry very important that if this happens just delete the import registry we of course want the net minecraft util one there you go and then register with the registry dot fluid in your identifier with our tutorial mod dot mod id and then the name there you go and then after the first parentheses we want the flowable fluid and there you go and now we can also call this so Instead of the semicolon, we're going to say register. This is going to be the honey underscore still. And then a new honey fluid dot still. There you go. And then let's just copy this over. So duplicate it with control D. And then we're saying flowing right here. Changing the name, very important as well. Flowing. And then this is the honey flowing. There you go. So this is this. And then we can go back into the honey fluid. Two of those things should already be fine now. Now we only need to define the block and the actual bucket. So let's go into the item package right here, mod items actually, there you go. And let's just copy over the mithril staff for this. This is going to be the honey underscore bucket and same right here, honey underscore bucket. And this is going to be a bucket item right here with the first parameter being mod fluids dot honey still. So we want the still fluid right here. And then the rest is actually going to be fine. Make sure that you have max count one. Otherwise, it's going to get a little weird, um, you know, with the bucket. So because a filled bucket is usually max count one. And then in the honey fluid, we should have this one done as well. And then the last thing is just the honey fluid block right there in the mod blocks class. So let's just actually 
go into the block package mod blocks class right here and let's just copy over the let's get the um how about the mithril blaster sure that's gonna be fine actually let's copy over the uh, sign right here because we actually do not need to use the block without block item method anyway so honey fluid block there you go make sure that you change this name as well honey fluid block otherwise we're gonna have some issues and then of course the uh, and this is actually aha uh -huh, yeah exactly because usually we would use a fluid block right here but we're having the delightful issue once again that this is a protected access so we actually need to make a custom class out of this and then basically never look at it again so this is going to be the more fluid block and let's actually just you know easily extend the fluid block right here hover over this create constructor matching super changing the protected here to public there you go and then we never have to look at the class again once again i don't know why this is with some classes but it just is what it is mod fluid block there you go and the first parameter here is once again going to be honey still so this is going to be mod fluids nope mod fluids actually dot honey still there you go and then a few other things here we don't need the sign type of course and then what we want actually is a few different things. So we want actually want to say of, and then let's say material dot water. And then we also want to call no collisions. We want to call non opaque, and we want to call drops nothing because in theory the fluid block should drop nothing. And now in the honey fluid, this error should also be fixed, and now every error here should be gone, and everything should be fine. And the only other thing that we're going to need is in the client class. So I will actually copy over the particular thing that we're going to need here because it is a little bit more crazy, but I will explain. So let's just copy it over and you can see there you go. So this just basically instantiates or registers the actual rendering of this fluid. So it's going to take the water still image. This is just a gray image of the water in like still mode, so to speak, and then the flowing mode as well. And then it's going to tint this with this color right here. So that's the general idea. We're going to see how this looks in just a moment in the game. But you can basically change out this color right here with whatever you want. And then it's going to change the color of the fluid as well. So that's really freaking awesome. And then we just need the actual item stuff. So we actually still need to, you know, translate the item for the bucket. Let's just add this as well. This is just going to be a fairly straightforward thing so let's just go into the items right here let's just add this as you can see honey bucket it should be no uh, you know weirdness there at all and then same with the uh, model actually model is just a normal item model that points to an item texture honey underscore bucket there you go and then the actual texture and all of this is of course also available in the description below for download and in the github repository in an individual just as well and that should be that. Now, there's one last thing that we need to do, and that is add it to the water tag. So in the data folder under Minecraft tags, and then we want to make a new folder right here, a new directory called fluids. And inside of there, we want to make a new file called water.json. And then I'm just going to copy over, let's say, for example, you know, the logs right here, just so that we have the template for how the uh, how our tag looks and then the values here are going to be tutorial mod colon honey underscore still and then let's just duplicate this and the other one is going to be honey underscore blowing so you want to add both of your custom fluids right here and then it's going to have the same physics as water otherwise it's gonna not gonna have any physics so be sure to add this uh, i am not sure how you can add different physics for it this is a very like complicated thing that you might be able to do but i i honestly don't quite know so uh, we're just going to keep it with the water physics but the good thing is that right here in the actual honey fluid you can of course change a few things in in, in terms of the uh, particles right here the dripping water stuff that can all be changed and you can basically have a very well, i mean cool and custom fluid uh, at the end of the day so that's pretty awesome and that is actually all of the things that we need to add to add our custom fluid to the game so let's see if it works all right we found ourselves back in minecraft and as you can see the honey bucket has been successfully added to the game so let's just set it down and let's there you go we actually have some fluid that flows i mean perfectly and let's just add it here so you can see actually you know searches for water i believe that is because it's added to the water tag so it's basically gonna i mean not quite merge with water but you know it's gonna have some very interesting let's say a behavior here in this case 
So let's just you know get rid of this and let's actually put it down here so it's, you can see it spread and it basically spreads eight blocks. So including the source block itself. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is the actual you know distance that it travels. That should be fairly self-explanatory. And as I've said, there are plenty of things that you can basically change and override in the custom fluid class. So I highly recommend, you know, basically just playing around with a bunch of stuff in there. And then you hopefully can be able to make your custom fluid of your dreams. Right, but that would be it for this tutorial right here. I hope you found this useful and you learned something new. If you did, I would very much appreciate a like. And don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials just like this one. I also want to thank all of my lovely Patreon supporters for supporting me and this channel. It is very much appreciated and I'll see you in the next tutorial. So yeah, 